Hey Butterfly Beauties, how are y'all doing today? We are here to look at my week two setup for my uh, devotional for October. And, um, you know, first week I showed you how I set it up doing Dutch doors. And again, I'm a little Dutch door crazy. So we're going to see how I did the Dutch doors this week. The first week was pretty simple. And just a real quick recap of what that looked like for that first week. And this is what, you know, we kept it simple with the boxes and the washi, right? So this was week um, one. So here's week two, setting up our, let me make sure I'm in frame, Lord. Let's be in frame. Okay. Um, so the gratitude page is what's jumping us off just like the first week, um, our Monday through Friday, and then we'll have Saturday and Sunday on the back page. Uh, and then the way that I did the Dutch doors this week was that they're at the top. So with that being said, remember I have the um, quarter boxes to put the date. And then I've got the box here to put um, the verse that we're going to be reading for the day. So you can see the 7th, the 8th, the 9th. So I put some additional boxes here. And this was because this word Salah was at the end of the verse and I was like, what is that? So I went to look up what Salah meant and I put the two different definitions that I found. And what I really like, it was just basically saying it's, in other words, just pause and contemplate, right? And I was like, that's so perfect that they had the girl there reading um, for this day. So I, these additional boxes are added after the fact because I wrote out my verse for Psalms 62, 8, and I'm using the Amplified Version, um, Bible Version, to do my scriptures. So just FYI, if you're just like, what's with the um, brackets, etc., because in the Amplified Version, it will give you some additional wording, understanding, etc., from the translation. Um, but let me not ramble about that. But this is basically the two additional boxes I added. They were not a part of the original setup. So this is what it looks like. But this is what the it looks like when I set it up for the week. I basically created the Dutch door. I have a um, item for what the verse is. So that way um, I don't have to flip back to the front if I don't want to. And then the quarter boxes again to put the dates. So that's what week two looks like. And then here's Saturday and Sunday for me to write down the gratitude items. This back page is for me to write any additional notes um, that I may want to write. Um, if there's anything that Leslie and I may have discussed or just things that were on my mind that were uh, pertaining to the week. Um, I need to go back for the first week and I need to put some notes um, there because even though the first week... Um, there was just some things that I wanted to kind of add to it, uh, to put my own notes. There is a YouTube, um, or Zoom or something that she does. The Amy's, the printable that I got this, uh, Bible study from, and I need to find that. I want to watch that before I put the notes in for week one, because I missed it on that Friday. Um, but yes, this is week two. And just FYI, you're like, why is this page all crinkled? So um, here's Psalms, and this kind of gives you some additional info on the book of Psalms. That Psalms is poetry and wisdom, and then what your book, one, two, three, four, and five, um, what chapters are in each book, how there's 150 Psalms that are written, and who they're written by, how many of them were written by the uh, particular author, the genres in Psalm, like hymn and praise, laminate, suffering, thanksgiving, temple, royalty, teaching, and wisdom. Um, so that's what you find. What's laminate, what's Thanksgiving, instruments for worship. So again, with the Salah, for example, for this week, that was talking about it's um, a musical term that meant to pause or contemplate. And then, or it's Salah is a synonym of the Hebrew word that means forever. Salah is a, a um, derivative of the Hebrew root Salah. And it says to note the S and the L, which uh, means to raise voices in praise or make the instruments louder. And so, again, you can see the instruments that were used then. And then there's just ways that you can worship. And then uh, there's just descriptions of God. 
So it has it kind of as that point of reference. And I put it here because most of this week we were looking at Psalms. So I felt that that was fitting to put that information here. So hopefully you got a little inspiration or learned a little something new today. Um, and if you already knew it, that's fantastic. Um, and maybe just, again, giving you an idea how to do your Dutch doors or putting a little creativity to your devotionals if you so choose to. Um, again, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope that you enjoyed so you can like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are, you know, an OG, you know that we can be a bit chaotic over here. But one thing is that we're always real. So I hope to see you guys in another video. Until next time. Bye.